In this video, I will show you how to fix Valorant's black screen on launch. This should be a quick and easy tutorial to follow, but before we do continue, please consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Now with Valorant, if you are trying to launch and play Valorant and every time you're trying to open, say you're just getting a black screen, it's not loading through or it's just freezing and closing back down, then there's a couple of methods that I have which you can try, which should resolve this problem. Now, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is locate Valorant. So if you don't have it on your desktop, come down to your search box at the bottom and search for Valorant. Then what you need to do once you've got the app is right click onto it or click right click onto the desktop icon and on this menu you want to click onto open file location. What that's going to do is open up a window like this. From here right click again and again come down and click onto open file location. In this window what you want to do is come up to the top to the address section and you want to click here where it says Riot Games. What that's going to do is go up a folder and you should see the folder for Valorant. So what you want to do now is double click to go into Valorant folder then double click onto live from here click onto shooter game the shooter game folder double click and then double click onto binaries then win64 double click to open out the folder and in here basically you just want to scroll down towards the bottom and you should see this valorant application down here win64 shipping now what you need to do is actually right click onto this app and on this menu that comes up you want to click onto properties so that's just here give that a click and that's going to open up the properties window now from here come up to the top and what you want to do is click onto the compatibility tab and if you have the box ticked to run this program as an administrator untick that box and make sure to click apply and OK. What you can then do is close this down and see if you can now launch Valorant. If that didn't work for you, the second thing you can try is if you come down to your search box in the taskbar at the bottom and in here type services. And what you want to do underneath best match is click onto the services app that comes up. Now on the services window, you want to look for something called VGC. So this is in alphabetical order. So you just want to scroll down until you get to V and you should see something a service here called VGC like this. Now what you want to do is double click onto this and if it's set to manual you want to change it to automatic and then click start to get this to start the VGC. So this is for the Vanguard client, which can sometimes contribute to Valorant's not launching successfully and having startup problems, including just having a black screen. But basically once that's started, what you can do is come and click apply and okay to apply the changes. And again, see if you can now launch Valorant. Now, if that didn't work for you and you're still having problems and it's still launching and you're not seeing anything or you're just getting a blank screen or something like that, then what you're gonna to want to do is double click to launch Valorant, but immediately after you launch Valorant, press F 11 on your keyboard by pressing f11 this is going to switch to a window mode rather than full screen and it should enable you to see valorant so hopefully one of those methods fixes your issue and you should now be able to launch valorant and that is how to fix valorant black screen on launch so with that being said i hope this quick tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out i would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel with that being said i just want to take a minute thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and i will see you in the next video